Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a leaky WE Tech Samurai Edge Biohazard M9 Green Gas Magazine. Before we get started, let's make sure we have everything. In addition to our magazine, we will need replacement O-rings. You can get these at flugbonearmory.com with free shipping. Each pack can replace all the O-rings in one magazine. If you buy three, you get one free. Just look up your magazine brand in our search and find the one that matches. The next thing we're going to need is a valve tool, which you can also buy from flugbonearmory.com. Then pliers or something to grip with. A Phillips head screwdriver. A pick or small tool to help remove the O-rings. And clippers. After we've made sure there is no gas in the magazine, the first thing to do is use a Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the... Then we're going to take a punch and a hammer and punch out the two pins at the bottom of the magazine. Be careful because it is under spring tension and the spring will fly across the room if you don't hold it in. Next, I'm going to take the small end of the valve tool and remove the fill valve. Then I'm going to take the medium end of the valve tool and remove the hammer valve. Now you should have all the parts laid out on the table. Next, we're going to get the O-rings. Our O-rings come pre-lubed. I'm just going to make sure they all have an even coating before installing them. Next, we're going to take a closer look at the fill valve. First, we should remove the old black O-ring on the outside. Then we need to hold the brass tip with our pliers or gripping tool and unscrew it from the rest of the valve with our valve tool. Once we set everything down on the table, we're going to take a small pick or a screwdriver and push the internal valve core out. Sometimes it can be tricky and it might take a good bit of force. Once that is out, we're just going to pull out the O-ring in the top. Then we're going to pull off the O-ring on the valve core. Next, replace the O-ring with the yellow-colored O-ring from the kit. The hole should be on the other side of where the O-ring sits. Then reinsert the core and screw it back in. Then we're going to put a small black o-ring from the kit on the outside of the valve and use your green gas can to seat it in place. Finally, we're going to take the magenta o-ring from the kit and put it on the outside of the valve. Next, we're going to take a closer look at the hammer valve. This one is a little easier. Simply replace the large O-ring with the red O-ring in the kit. Then the medium O-ring with the green O-ring in the kit. Finally, replace the small O-ring with the blue O-ring in the kit. This one can be kind of tricky. I prefer to use clippers and just cut it.
first, we're going to start by replacing the screw o-ring with the cyan o-ring in the kit. Then we're just going to replace the base plate o-ring with the large black o-ring in the kit that matches the one you removed. You should have all the o-rings replaced, just like on the table. The next step is just to put it back together. First, we're going to install the hammer valve until it's snug, being very careful not to cross-thread it because that will completely ruin the seal. Then we're going to install the fill valve until it's snug, being careful not to cross-thread because that will completely ruin the seal. Then we're going to reinstall the BB follower and spring. Next, install the base. You might need to squish the o-ring to get it into the body. I'm going to reinstall the pins and hammer them in. Then I'm going to use a punch and make sure they're flush. Finally, reinstall the base plate. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or couldn't follow along, contact us on our website, flukebonearmory.com, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.